morning. Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Saturday, February 9th, 2019. 14 degrees at 10 o'clock in the morning. And there's my Samuel. I think he wants to come out on the sun porch. Maxie's over at the front door or at the side door. He wants to come in. Is that you, Max? Come on, Mac. Oh, look at that, Tammy. Where's Mikey? Mikey! LC! Oh, yeah, God's singing us some songs in the chimes. Come on, Max. There's that, Mikey. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? You want to go in? There you go, honey. There you go. There's some totally bad camera work, hey. But what were you expecting? It's the mic show. Hollywood had Ed Wood. YouTube's got me. And that's that. No sign of any city chickens out there. There was one lone set of cat tracks running down the sidewalk out there. Went under the sun porch, came out in the backyard, went across the yard. So, some duck tracks also, I think. Went out there and threw some feet out. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't want to get out of bed again. I'm going to have to get out there and do some bike riding today. There's my Sammy. Go on, Sam. Go on, Sam. But we're going to first sit and have some coffee here and ponder some things and just do our usual routine. Our usual non-routine, whatever you want to call it. Oh, yeah. I got a phone call last night from my brother Ed and... He's in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, for who knows what, but... Uh, he informed me that our cousin Joe died, and he was 92, and it's a sad passing. God bless his family. God bless him. Welcome back his spirit. But, uh, yeah, he was he was a good man, and so got a funeral to go to on Tuesday. But yeah, it's sad, you know, and he was, he was a real good guy, and his wife's a real good woman, and the kids are good people, and just sad to lose someone like that. And with that, we are going to pause. And look who's come to join me, my Samuel, my little friend Samuel. Come on, Tammy. Come on, honey. Come on, cuddle. Come on, cuddle. We're waiting for our coffee to brew. Okay, come on, Tammy. My loyal little man. My loving, loyal little man, hey. Yeah, he's looking at that heater over there. My electric fire. I wish we could have a real fire. Sun's poking through the clouds right now. We're trying to. Look at that, Timmy. I love you, buddy. Oh, my sweet boy. Yeah. All right, Elsie's up on the bed. And I don't know where Max and Mike are, but I'm sure they'll be back. We're waiting for that first cup of coffee. It's still brewing. So we're going to sit here with Sam and say some prayers and just check things out this morning. Well, we're back, sitting here with Sam. And Maxie's laying in there. He was. He likes the sunshine. Where's Mikey? Come on, Max. Come on, buddy. Come on, cuddle. Come on, cuddle, honey. That's my Max. How are you doing today? How are you, sweetheart? Yeah. Oh, boy. I don't know what to say. <laughs> We're still sitting here with two of our best pals, Samuel and Max. Three of our best pals, a cup of coffee. Four of our best pals, and Grandfather Son is with us. And God's with us. And all our departed are with us in spirit. I think I hear Mikey back there. Mikey! And we're just sitting here, just enjoying being with these little souls and enjoying the light and warmth of the sun and enjoying the cup of coffee and enjoying the songs of God in the chimes. Oh yeah, and just, uh, we've said a couple prayers so far and we are going for a bike ride today. I gotta get out there and interact. This is it, you know, I ain't got nobody to go with. I'll go with me and God, you know, and bring all our ghosts with us. Well, we are back. Uh, it's been a while. We took care of a few things, shaved and 
need some beef broth and Mackie's with me again. Sammy's over on the bench. We got a few city chickens up on the wire. No sign of anyone coming to feed yet, but I found something very disconcerting in the basement. One of my loves threw up, and I mean seriously threw up all over the place down there yesterday. And I don't know which one it is, so... That's never a good thing. I don't know if it was Elsa or Maxie or Sammy or Mikey. Hard to tell. I can't even tell. There's no fur balls in it or nothing, so... Somebody had an upset stomach, and that's not good. Well, here we are. Sammy's decided to join us. He jumped off his bench. Hey, Sammy. Mackie's all tuckered out and comfy. There's either 24 or 25 city chickens out there, and they haven't uh, indulged in the food yet. We're still waiting on them. We're still plotting out our day. Look at my Sammy. Look at my Sammy. I love you, buddy. What a sweet little boy you are. Here's Mackie, he woke up a little bit. We finished our coffee, trying to figure out if we should make some espresso or another carafe of French press. We're probably going to go with the espresso. With you. Mm, I love you, buddy. Yeah, we got to get out there, you know. There's a part of me going, oh, stay inside. You know, you don't need to get out. But no, I need to get out. I want to get out and get some fresh air. I don't want to do it alone, but probably nobody else to go with besides God, so that's when I end up doing things alone. And uh, I do need to go pick up some groceries, things that I'm low on, and I'm almost out of eggs, so I'm going to take care of that. I think I'm going to throw the bike in the back of the truck, drive around, get the groceries, etc., and then uh, drive out and head for a bike ride somewhere. That's the tentative plan for right now. Well, we finally got some action from the city chickens. They've moved down to the service line, and now they're hitting the food. One wary, one coming in, and you never know. They're, they're very leery and wary with good reason. There's a hawk in the neighborhood, so they don't want to end up being the hawk's food. So they come and they go. But I love to watch them. <laughs> Tried to catch Sammy jumping up on that bench. I don't know if I got it or not. He's a big boy. I mean, you know, he don't look... He's solid. He he probably weighs around 14 pounds. And when he when he got in here and moved in here with us, he, he didn't weigh that. He was pretty light from living on the street. But he don't miss many meals. But he's still pretty strong. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, Tammy, what are you looking at out there? I don't know. More rambling, more babbling. Just, just me, you know? <laughs> well, Mikey has joined us. He's over there with Samuel. Maxie's laying there on his rug. Elsie's still upstairs. Started doing some dishes and things like that and some other tasks. Got the grandfather's son melting those icicles up there. Making and melting. It's, a, it's the same process all in one. <laughs> As the snow melts on the roof, it drips down the icicles and they get longer. Quite an amazing thing. <laughs> all right. We are plotting out our day. We are going to go get some groceries and things, and we are going for a bike ride. But one thing at a time. First, we finish up our, uh, our time with our loves, our, our readings and prayers and things like that. Well, I think I just uh, did another recording where I wasn't recording. <laughs> we had five ducks land, and uh, they're enjoying the corn. Maxie's over there with Samuel. I'm sitting here, and it's a simple life, a simple day, a simple mind, and it's the only life I got, and I'm doing my best to enjoy it the best I can and be grateful for it. Well, this morning in this Mike show has been a lot like that scene in the movie The Matrix where he sees the cat twice and there's a glitch and some of it gets repeated. Because I've had several times, or a couple times anyway, while I was making this recording, uh, where it seems like I made it and then I looked and the power wasn't running and so I turned it on and said basically the same thing over again. <laughs> 
Anyway, Mackie and Sammy are loving on each other over there. It's a beautiful morning, and we are going to get on with our day. Peace and blessings, and have a good day, and enjoy the time with the ones you're with.